Now we'll talk about graphing equations of lines. And we'll start off with an example. The first example says to graph x plus y equals 3. All right, to do this, we find some ordered pairs that are solutions to this equation, and then we plot those points on the xy plane. And, and this equation is really simple. We can find some ordered pairs mentally without a whole lot of effort. Let's see, x is 1, y is 2. That should work. And um, x is 2, y is 1. That should work. And x is 0, y is 3. And x is 3, y is 0. Okay, let's plot those points. The point 1, 2 takes us from the origin. We go right 1 and up 2, so let's plot a point there. The point 2, 1 takes us to the right 2 and up 1, so plot a point there. The point 0, 3 is 0 in the x direction and 3 in the y direction. That's this point here. And the point 3, 0 takes us from the origin 3 to the right and 0 in the y direction. And these points are all conveniently lining up in a line. Now realize we could put in some negative numbers also. You could put in 4, negative 1. That would work. If x is 4 and y is negative 1, then they add up to 3. So that would give us this point right here, to the right 4 and down 1. Or you could do negative 1, 4, and that would be this, left 1 and up 4. So we get a point there. And we could put in fractional values also. Watch this. I could put in 1.5, 1.5. Look at that. If I go to the right 1.5 and up 1.5, I get right here. So all these points are right along the line. Or I could, I'll, I'll do one more. I could go 3.5, see, 3.5 and negative 0.5. Those would add up to 3. So that would be three and a half to the right and one half down. And I would get right there. And what we see is a line emerging. And you can draw in that line. Let me try that again. I want to make this accurate. OK. And put arrowheads on that line, because that line will extend infinitely in both directions. Now, when we were finding points over here, or finding ordered pair solutions to the equation, we could have kept going. We could have found an infinite number of points, an infinite number of ordered pairs. They would all lie on this line if we graphed them. So you could say that any solution that we find to this equation would lie on this line. And you could also say that any point on that line would be a solution to the equation. This line goes on infinitely in both directions. And you could take any point on that line and find the x and y value, and they would add up to 3. So this line represents all infinity solutions to this equation. And this equation, x plus y equals 3, is referred to as a linear equation. You can write that in your notes in the blank there. It's a, it's a linear equation because the graph of the equation is a line. And the graph gives us a visual picture of all the solutions.